as important when you're writing articles? Well, I would say be enthusiastic, because if you're not enthusiastic about the subject, why should anybody else be? And it's, you're often given something you really don't want to do. But do you know what? Once you start researching it, you find that you, you get to quite like the subject, you get interested in it, and then you end up, you get enthusiastic anyway. This is what I've found. It's very rare that I've been given something to write where... You know, even if I've groaned in the first place, you know, please do us a piece on marketing analytics and uh, Christmas. And you think, oh my God, why should I do that? And then you start investigating marketing analytics at Christmas and it's really quite interesting. In fact, I did do that um, in the last year. So research is, is, is very important. Um, you've got to make what it is, you, you, you you make it interesting for the reader. Well, of course, if you've gone through that loop of, of research and getting interested, then you will be able to make it interesting. I, I think you really don't want to fake it. Do you know? Try and find somebody else. If, if, or, or maybe even interview somebody else who is enthusiastic about it. That's quite a good way of getting around the fake it issue. But if you do try and fake it, people will, will, will know. It. They, will, they will spot it a mile off. Um, you also have to match the reader in terms of their, um, their, their knowledge level, really, their, their vocabulary, the vocabulary they use, and, and the tone. And the tone really depends on the subject matter. You know, I mean, if you're writing about the death of somebody, you, you know, you're going to take a sombre tone. If you're talking about a marriage, it will be possibly joyful. <laughs> possibly? <laughs> well, yeah, possibly. I mean, not all man marriages are joyful. I think some are sort of convenient, but... Uh, Let's not go there. That's eh? another subject for another day. It is really, isn't it? Thank you, Alison. That was well played.